How did we learn about the environment when we were young? We learned about this as a country without floods, droughts and landslides. During the past several years, our country was battered by landslides. What did these rulers do to our environment? They destroyed the forests. They destroyed the habitats of the elephants. These are the consequences we face now. These rulers transformed this country to a country prone to landslides. We didn't experience major floods back then. We also didn't experience droughts. I am also from Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura was identified as the Vaubandi Raja or the kingdom with the tanks. Did we ever imagine that the people of Anuradhapura will have to purchase water? Today, starting from Nochiagama, there are plenty of shops that sell water. Why? Because our land was filled with poison. There are mountains of garbage. They created a country where people die from collapsing garbage mountains. In the recent past, clinical waste from the UK was imported. The leaders have destroyed the entire ecosystem of our country. In our view, the Aruakalu Sanitary Landfill is another disaster that adds to the garbage crisis. We have two solutions. Solution one is we will establish a People's Council which will consist of experts in the field and locals who face the garbage crisis on a daily basis. Anyone can submit their ideas, complaints or any other information to this council. Afterwards, based on this information, we can take two decisions. If we conclude that the Sanitary Landfill harms the environment and cannot be continued, we will halt operations immediately. However, if the information reveals that the sanitary landfill does not cause any harm to the environment, we will continue its operations within a secure framework. If the sanitary landfill harms the public or animals or even a tree, we will halt operations with immediate effect. <laughs>